Yo, what's up guys, and in today's video, I'll actually be showing you guys how to make simulator pets inside of Roblox Studio. A few things i like to announce is my Twitter. I'll put it inside the description so you guys can check that out. Also, make sure to join my Discord server. It'll be inside the description, and that just motivates me to keep uploading. Oh yeah, also make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, let's get right into the video. So first thing you're going to do inside of Blender is go inside of edit mode. And then when you're in edit mode, make sure to select this. And then what you're going to do is press Ctrl B to bevel the edges. Once you bevel the edges, go down here, press the arrow, and bring the segments to 2 or 3. For this one, I'll just leave it on 2. So now what you're going to do is actually add in a cube. And then you're going to go inside the edit mode. Then you're going to scale this cube down, just like that. And after that, just scale on your, uh, your Y axis. And then now what you're going to do is just like these edges over here and scale on your x-axis just like this. So if you like to make a cat, you could go with this ear. Or if you like to make a dog, you go with these ears. Just like that. So next thing you're going to do is just like your center just like this. Press 5, 1, and 3 on your keyboard. And then what you're going to do is press O on your keyboard and bring the, your model just like this. Just out like that. And also what you're going to do is select all of it. Press O again and scale on your Y axis just a bit more. Just so, that, so your model can't be that thick. So now we're going to do is actually select this. Uh, click on your faces by pressing Shift and left click and extrude this in. Just like that. Extrude it in again. And that should be good. And then just drag your model onto the block. Just like this. And if you like, you could rotate it just like that, just for extra uh, style. There you go. Now what we're going to do is going to edit mode with both of the parts. And then duplicate, rotate just like that, and bring it out. And rotate it so it looks uh, normal, just like that. So once you get that done, you can start working on its mouth. So what you're going to do is actually add in a, a mesh, cube mesh. And then you're going to go over here to modifiers and subdivision surface. After you get that, go inside the edit mode. And then we're going to do is select the top part of your face and then bring it out just like that. After that, just make sure to apply uh, the subdivision on your model. So after I did that, what I actually did was make sure to bring my uh, nose from my pet onto the center. So now what you're actually going to do is add in a cube and just bring it out just like this scale it down and bring it over here what you're going to do now is just uh, go into edit mode select the bottom part rotate extrude extrude again extrude one more time just like that actually not one more time but uh just like this and extrude again there we go so now what you're actually going to do is bring this in here just like that Scale it down and just rotate it just like this. Duplicate, rotate it on your Z axis, just like that, and bring it out. And just make sure to stretch this out. And if it's too thick, I recommend just pressing Alt and S to scale it uh, on the sides, just like this. Let me just connect this real quick. There we go. So now, after doing that, what you're going to do is press in Shift, uh, Shift A. Add a cylinder, bring the vertices down all the way to around like uh, 8. Bring it out, rotate on your x-axis, just like this. Scale it, and then just bring it over here. So what we're actually going to do is make the freckles for the, uh, the pet. Make sure to go into edit mode, and what we're going to do now is just duplicate, scale it, duplicate, and uh, scale it again, just like this. And then you can duplicate this, rotate it. And then you could just scale it down just like that and rotate again. There you go. So now for the tail, we're going to actually do is add in a cylinder, bring up the vertices to 10, rotate on your Y axis and then rotate on your Z axis. After that, what we're going to do is scale this down, bring it out, scale it down a bit more just like this. And then what we're going to do is just go into edit mode, go to wireframes, select, uh, the top face, bring it out, just like that, and bevel it, just like this, 
and then add in the loop cut bring it over here and bevel it again and then when you do that what you're going to do is just bring it down just like this and that should be good and yeah that's how to make a pet inside of roblox studio let me know your thoughts inside of the comments below and also a few things i'd like to sh uh, share with you guys before i go is whenever you're making a pet if you want to add a feed to it you just press shift a add a part and then just scale it down just like this and just go into edit mode select the top face and scale it in scale it out just like that scale on your z-axis and scale it in just like that uh duplicate and then duplicate again for both of them and go back to solve and yeah thank you for watching have a good day